Hello. I'm just gonna put the sound down a little bit. <laughs> Alright, hey everyone. Welcome, welcome. Today we're gonna be playing some more Slime Rancher. Um, and then maybe Minecraft later. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I have not played Slime Rancher since um, I streamed that a while ago um, with that size of point hanging out with me. Alright, give everyone a second to join. <laughs> All right. So today we're going to be playing some Slime Rancher. Uh, so this is a save that I left off on. We're on day nine, already making the bank. I guess we've discovered... Does that mean 15 slimes? I'm not actually sure. But, hey. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> I feel like... You know, it's not that complex of a game, but it is so fun. <laughs> Alright. Loading up. My favorite slimes are the gray ones with the stripes. Apparently they're tabbies, but they remind me of raccoons. Alright. So let's see if we have a mission. Offline? Well, I guess no mission today. We do have maybe some plorts we could pick up. That'd be nice. I have to remember the controls. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, we have our rock slimes, our tabby slimes. Oh, we got mail. These slimes are big. I think it's so big. Wait, are they cat rocks? How did? Ugh. Oh my god. Oh wait, they are. I think I did that on purpose, actually. I think I was trying to get the double ports. I forgot. What the heck? Excuse you. You do not belong out there. I'm trying to keep them. Why are they bouncing out? Okay. Well, we have some carrots growing. And we got... Last thing I did last time was get these really cool slimes whose names... Oh, phosphor. Phosphor slimes. I think they look so cool. Alright, well... Ooh, that was satisfying. I like that jump. Let's sell these forts. And then see what mail we got from this Miles person. So Mochi Miles says, Well, well, it seems like another wannabe rancher has signed up for a lonely existence on a faraway space rock. Congrats, Beatrix. I'm Mochi Miles. That's Miles as in Tatsuya Miles, the billionaire. I'm here to do important business for my dad, but that doesn't mean I won't make all the rest of the backwater types out here look bad in the process. No one concert conquers the floor market like I do, day in, day out. My dad gives me the inside track, so look forward to my requesting ports I know will make me huge profits later on. So I wish you the best of luck, Beatrix. Maybe you'll even reach second place. And at the very least, you can tell your friends that you helped out the great Mochi Miles in her conquest of the far, far range. Later, Tater. Mochi Miles, top rancher. Uh, okay. So she's an insider trader. <laughs> um, well, that's cute that she thinks she can be the best rancher, but has she seen my slime farm? Yeah, I think not. Alright, so we're growing pogo fruits. I'm gonna go feed some of these slimes. Mm, I think oh, they eat veggies and meat, so I'll give them some of these. Uh, excuse me, Tabby. 
Well, I guess no wonder they became <laughs> changed. I gotta get, like, roofs or something. Is there, like... Uh, force barrier that covers the top. Hmm? I'm, gonna, I'm trying to try an air net. So I want, I want these things escaping all the time. Alright, let's put air nets on these pens. Okay. Ooh, okay, now we have a mission. Probably for Miles. Oh, I like her design. She's mean, but... Ugh, I love that design. Ah, okay. Wow, <laughs> that's cool. I need these plorts post-haste, whatever that means. Okay, so she wants... Two... Rock? Is it the dudes I have? The rock-like tabby slimes, I guess? Uh, two tabby ones, and three pink ones. Well, I need some food so I can get these plorts. Guess I shouldn't have sold them all earlier. Mm, well, we have one tabby one. Mm, well, we have another tabby one. That's good. So we can take care of the tabby requirement. Here, let's throw these in. Which will give us carrots, chickens, and money. The carrots and chickens, honestly, very useful. Speaking of, let's grab some chickens. I don't want to decimate their numbers too much, but I do need to feed my slimes. One for them. Then I need like carrots or fruit or something. Mm, I don't think my fruits have grown. Oh yeah, I forgot the phosphors only eat fruit. Okay, well, let's go looking for like carrots or fruit, or I wouldn't be opposed to another fancy type of slime. But definitely, I'm gonna need um, to make another plot. I'm like running out of space. I'm gonna have to um. Ooh, fruit. Oh, what's that? Oh, cute! Another ornament. Um. Oh gosh, what was I talking about? Wait, I need to build another pot. I'm like running out of space. I'm gonna have to do the thing where you like um. Expand your areas. Although, I don't think I'm quite there yet. First, I'm just gonna grab some more plorts, carrots. <laughs> I'm actually not even gonna need to feed my pink slimes because I'm getting all these plorts. But I will, of course, because I must take care of all my slimes. But, yeah, at least it's nice. I'm, so basically, I have the pink plorts taken care of. And I, um, oh my gosh. Hi, Albinus, you welcome to the chat. It is not supposed to be starting skin screen. Sorry about that. Give me one second and I will fix it. I, my friend, I always make fun of my friend for doing that. Where he would forget to switch his screen. Um, but I guess now I can't do that. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Now we're back. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Alright. <laughs> I guess I was just kind of walking around. But, yeah. My bad. But, welcome to the chat, Albino. Thanks for keeping me honest. <laughs> I'm good. How are you doing? I, I really like this game. I've only played it once before. But... I think it's a lot of fun. Kind of just chilling before the week starts. We have to go to work. Glad to hear you're well. Do you play Slime Rancher? Uh, 
All right, let's take these carrots home. When I was first playing, I got so lost. Um, and I, I realized there was a way to pull up the map. I forgot how to do that now, but I had to learn how to pull up the map because I just, I did not know where I was. I fed them. Let's give the pogo fruits to the phosphor slimes. I have, but couldn't get too into it. Yeah, I feel that. I, 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 this is the second time I played, and the first time I definitely was like, I kind of lost track of time, where I really liked it. But it was helpful, I think, that my friend was on call with me, because she like knew much more about the game. Otherwise, I think I'd be a bit lost as to what to do. I was thinking a little bit of Slime Rancher, because I've been thinking about it, and then um, probably some Minecraft, which is... Minecraft and Stardew Valley are kind of the main games I play, but, you know, I was feeling something different today. Alright, so those are pink florets. Let's see if we got any of these. Oh, oh, okay. I had it confused, but oh, oops. Hold on, I'll come back for this. Yeah, I've tried it twice, but only made it as far as you are. Well, maybe we can get further together. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to do from this point. I'm just kind of I'm doing these nice. Just doing these kind of quests. Okay, ah, my inventory is so full. Alright, I want these chickens. I'm gonna put these, these stony hens away. And I'll come back. I have this honey ornament. I'm not sure where I should put it. Because I do have an ornament already on the tabby slimes. And I have the rock ones, the pink ones, and then the phosphors. Which I'm... Ooh, okay. I wish I had more inventory slots. <laughs> So these. Then hens I need to put with my other chickens. Then I can suck this back up. Oh, and I have to get rid of the carrot. Because it's picky about that. Ah! I always mess the controls up. Okay. And then, I think I dropped something on the floor. What did I drop on the floor? Oh, quartz. Okay. I think it's about bedtime. I guess it's 8.25. You might want to invest in a silo. Is that how you can um, keep food? That I think probably would be really helpful. As you can see, my inventory fills up quickly. That's a good idea. Um, okay, so this is for my backpack. Although, looks like probably some helpful stuff here. Then, hmm. Where is that other thing? Maybe over here? Okay, yes. This is a slime piece. Silo. Mm. Handy compact units. You can store ports and resources. Okay, nice. Yes, I want one. Okay. Let me see if I can find the thing where you can build stuff. Because I forget. Mm, I Maybe it's not? I don't think it's over here. I think this is to unlock the area. Ooh, any item. That's nice. Yeah, I feel like food I run out of. Like, I run out of space for, but also it would be nice to store some plorts, too, because, like, you know, with the quest, sometimes they want these, like, random things. And I'm like, oh, I just sold that, or I dumped it so I wouldn't have to hold it in my inventory. Where is... Where's the thing? 
Okay, I'm gonna put this here. I feel like it was just around here somewhere. Alright, well, maybe I will sleep. Oh, I might have to do it on the plot. Go to the button, like, setting up a hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> things will find out. Yeah. That's right. You have to go to the plots to, like, make those things. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's a new day. It's a new morning. Now, I'm feeling refreshed. <laughs> I'm feeling more like I know what I'm doing. Let's see. Do I have any more plots? I might need to expand. Alright. Um, oh, I have... I have this. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Awesome. <gasps> That's nice. That's really nice. Am I... How can I switch between them? Mm, not sure. Glad you figured it out. Oh yeah, one by my house. Thank you for your help. <laughs> Alright, let's dump, mm, dump these in here. And then I have, looks like I have carrots, and I also have uh, pogo fruits grown. Alright, I'll throw- I'll save some of these for the phosphorus slimes, because that's like all they eat. At least I haven't discovered any more fruits, but... I'm sure there's more. I think maybe a good goal is to expand either to like the grotto area, which I think is over... Mm, I think it's one of these ways. One of these ways has a grotto, and one of these ways has like another area. So I feel like there's probably more slimes there that I haven't... Huh, that I have not seen yet. Can I only... Hmm. I might not be able to do that, but it's okay. I feel like I should be able to store multiple slots, but they might need to be the same thing. But I'll just feed... My lovely slimes. Maybe I could find some more of these to fill it up. Hey guys. I think these are my favorite. <laughs> I really like the tabbies, but also just, I don't know. They're so cool looking. They glow. Press E in the silo. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait, what was that? It just had a heart. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, let's. I'll suck up these carrots and I'll try it with the carrots. Yeah, I'm definitely not an expert player, but you know I'm having a good time. Oh my gosh! I can put a lot of stuff in there. I can put more than 20! I can put more than 20! This is so nice! <laughs> Alright, let's grab some plorts. Let's store some plorts in there, too. Alright. Got the tabby in the rock. More tabby from these guys. Um, let's grab the pinks and then the phosphors. And then I can have some of each so that if people request something specific, I mean, I don't even have to go out searching. It's so, so easy. I have to save up, I think it was like almost 1800 or something to unlock an area. All right, let's wait and see if I get some mail. See, I think it was like 1795 for one of them. And that's nice too, because you can save them instead of selling them and see if like the prices go up or stuff like that. Alright. Oh my gosh, that's... 
Makes so much sense. It says press T to activate. <laughs> nice. Alright, I'll just put those in there for now, I think. I'm going to extract some carrots so I can feed my slimes. It's nice that these just guys just eat everything. I just throw whatever I have in there. And some for the rock slimes. And then, I mean, these are the only ones who I have to eat that sort of stuff. So, I think I'm going to sell my plorts and then go exploring. Yeah, the only downside is you can only use the three slots. Yeah, it would be nice to have a few more slots, but um, it's nice for now. And then I think that was my last plot, so I'm going to have to expand. But, I mean, once I expand, that'll be helpful. And then I'll have, you know, six slots. So I can have another silo. I have all nice and organized. Like, here's my food silo. Here's my plort silo. Okay, those are not done yet. Yeah, and like Stardew Valley, I like color code my chests. <laughs> to like, be like, oh, well, these are all stuff from fishing, so I'll make the chest blue. That sort of thing. Ooh, I can upgrade the silo. That's cool. Oh, we've got mail. Let's see what Bob wants from us. That's nice. Yeah, you can tell I definitely... I don't play this game... Ah! Stop attacking me! I don't play this game very much. Or, like, um... I haven't really watched gameplay of it or anything either. But, you know, learning as I go with help from lovely people. <laughs> Alright, I got some roosters. Hmm... I take the fruits or the chickens. I think I want the fruits. Mm, maybe I should dump the rock forts though. So I feel like chickens are super useful because I have these tabby slimes I gotta eat. Ooh, oh no, no no come back here! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> no 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 no! Don't get eaten! Don't get eaten! All right. Everything's fine. My hen didn't almost get eaten. We're taking plorts with us. You know, everything is fine. I'm gonna see if I can just like kind of suck. Oh, no. I wanna like hold on to it, but I, I guess I can't do that. Let's just go home, breed our mail from Bob. You know, everything's chill, everything's good. We're not gonna get attacked. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, I was reading chat and not paying attention. God damn it. Only made it this far, everything else is new for the both of us. Yep. Yeah, it's a, it's a new frontier. <sighs> oh, I need to pay better attention. Chicken. Okay. Hello from Bob. Hello? Hello, hello. Chickens. Hello, chickens. Chicken. Hello. Bob. P.S. Chicken. Okay. Um, what was... Sorry, I think that was a Twitch thing. One second. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for following, Albino. I uh, appreciate that you're enjoying the stream. Alright. Um, Back here. I only have the one monitor, um, so I always have to finagle stuff. Okay, so let's see. Well, let's get Bob some chickens. I guess stony hens and one rooster. Then go back out and make up the stuff I lost. All right, then, oh nice, oh elder hen, old bird whose egg laying days are over, easy. 
Nice. I like puns. I appreciate a good pun. But, nice. Yeah, I definitely want to replenish my chickens. But, hey, that was easy. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to what he was giving us, but this is actually a lot of ports. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna check on the slimes. It's early in the morning. I think... Yeah, there's music going. I was thinking about maybe putting on some other music, but I think for now, just put the slime manager music. Unless you're interested in some like lo-fi. It's gonna like take me a second to set it up, so I'm down. So we got some carrots and some um fruits. Because it's the benefit of getting knocked out for a day. Your your stuff keeps growing. There we go. Actually. Alright. I feel like I don't need that many. I'll keep those. Hmm. I want to put fruit in here. Hmm. Figuring this out as I go. What are those? Looks like those are- Oh, it was that golden slime I saw a while back, but I didn't actually catch it. Oh, we're getting close. <laughs> Alright, I think we can... Move the area. We can lock a new area. And Bob the slime. <laughs> Is he just like a, a tabby slime in disguise? It's like, chicken please. You do remind me a bit of like when dogs come up to you at the table and they like they like look at you and I a lot of the dogs I know are actually really good about begging. They don't really beg. They've been trained not to, but they know I, I have cats actually, I don't have dogs. Um but yeah, my cats always know like who's the weak link. If they want some some treats or something, you know, who's more likely to give it to them? Yeah, I hope Bob enjoys his meal. I mean, he gave us a bunch of ports. I mean, I'm not mad even if he pooped them out. <laughs> Thank you. Good work. All right. So, I'll put fruits in here, and then I'll give- oh, let me, let me store some. <laughs> the jumping feels so weird to me. Like moon gravity. Store some carrots, because I don't need these all right now. Just go ahead and, you know, feed the slime. There you go. Feed these slimes. And then... I need to get more chickens for the tabbies. I'm just worried that like my chickens are gonna start multiplying slow. But apparently I don't really need to worry about about giving them pogo fruits, my phosphorus slimes, because they're good on that. Oops. The controls are so simple and yet I always miss them. Alright. So let's just see. There's the overgrowth. I think I'm more interested though in the grotto because I think the grotto might be the like cave thingy where like instead of this pen with a solar shield, I could like store slimes in there. And also seems different from what I've been at. All right, the grotto, a dark and gloomy cavern above the sea. And a likely first chapter to that novel of yours. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so that's what I thought. Let's see. The grotto is an expansion to the ranch set inside a slightly spooky cave that allows a rancher to care for light-sensitive slimes without the need for a solar shield. 
Never has a phosphorus line felt so liberated. Okay, I think this goes with my goals. You should be the elder hens and not the young hens since they can't breed. You are you are thinking ahead, my friend. You are thinking ahead. All right, let's grab some of those elder hens. Feed them to the tabbies so that they're happy. And then, ooh, I'm torn between going out for more chickens and let's see another really elder hen. I think these are all regular hens. That's good. At least feed them one. So let's see. <laughs> I kind of want to explore the grotto, but I think first it should it'll be important to get some more fresh young chickens. Um, it's got like an uh, alert. Something wants to update. I'm like, uh, I'm busy right now. Also, I never use that application. <laughs> it's something I had for work, but I don't work there anymore, so... Do, do, do they... They spawn out of the corals? <laughs> what? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay. <laughs> cool. To quote Bob, chicken, 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 looking for chicken. It's like almost impossible not to suck up pink slimes. All right, we're not gonna walk off into the water this time. This time, we're just gonna have a nice stroll. Here's some tabbies. Ah. Wait, is this a chicken or... Oh, it's a cat. Okay. Do you guys like cats or dogs better? Do you have a, a preference? I personally do have to go with cats simply just because, you know, I have cats at home, but I, I will say I, I love a lot of my like friends' dogs. They're so cute. Oh yeah, this is another thing from H. I remember I kind of peeked in here before, and there's lots of scary mobs. Yeah, those, 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 those. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. We're safe. Personally, more of a dog person, but reptiles are the best. Will you get along with my sister? Um... I, I have to admit, I am scared of snakes. I like before, I've held like lizards and just let them like walk around on my arm. And it's just like, I love how their feet feel just walking around. But um, my sister likes reptiles and she actually volunteers at the zoo here locally. Um, and she's just like leveled up, I guess, or whatever, to be allowed to um, learn how to handle some of the animals. So it's like, you know, a bo like they have like a box turtle and there's like snakes and stuff. And she was telling me about it this weekend and it just all seems so cool to me. More of a lizard man. Ooh, let's read monitor lizards. Aren't those the ones? They're like, like a mid-sized lizard, right? It's like... Hold on, can I... Let's save this for a second. I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna see if I can do the thing. I'm kind of new to this, but I think, so if I change my screen share, see, I, th I think I know what you mean by monitors, but okay. Let's see, so I want to edit this, add a layer, browser, so that sounds right. All right, let's go to this really quick, just so I can make sure not to dox myself or anything. Let's see how this looks. If I screen share. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Screenser. Source. I just want. Okay. There we go. Google. Alright. The one I have now, the one that can grow to be six feet. Oh my gosh. That's huge. What do you feed it? Oh no, this is not what I was thinking of. That's so cool. <laughs> Let's see, is this my screen share? It is working. I like his, like, <laughs> he looks like a dinosaur to me in this picture. That's so cool. Yeah, man, that's a big lizard. That's taller than me. Oh, they eat rats. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> These are cool. I like this one's, like, like, um, coloring. Like, it's kind of like a leopard lizard. This is cool. Alright. Let's switch this back to the game, I think. Right now I have a Nile monitor, but my favorite is a Savannah monitor. That's cool. Yeah, let me let me Google that real quick. Let me do Okay. How did I do this before? Monitor wizard. Um, save. Okay. Nile monitor. Ooh. That's really cool. I see what you mean. Yeah, they look pretty big, although I guess it's like half tail. <laughs> and then you like savannah monitors. Oh, these are like rounder. That's cute. I like his spots. Yeah, I feel like he has like a rounder body. That's awesome. All right. Let me switch back. Uh, let me do this here. Back to the game. And I'm actually I'm going to run to the bathroom and be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Savannah so monitors are more sweet. That's cool. I can see how then they might make like nicer pets because they're more affectionate. Does your Nile monitor do it like does it like to play or something? I've never had a lizard, I guess I don't know what you like do with it. Do they like being pet? I feel like monitor lizards would also enjoy chickens, just like Bob. <laughs> Alright, where were we? Ooh, uh-oh. Those? I know, I'm not dealing with those. I'm not dealing with the dangerous slimes. I'm just going about my business and taking myself back home. I think it's up here. Mm. Yeah, this seems right. I'm try not to get lost again. Forget. Mm, I think there's a way to like check my map, but I can't remember. But oh yeah, there's my house. Okay. I'm home, and I brought dinner! Let these guys grow up. Alright, yeah, these are all just- I don't see any elderly hens. So, I'll just take in a couple regular hens. Drop them in there. Um, these guys look happy. These guys also look happy. Oh, just so these in here. So, it depends on the lizard, but as I was warned, he is an half and will, and always will, unlike a savannah monitor where I can socialize and play with. Okay, so they're a lot, like, more willing to play. That makes sense. So... Imagine like taking a monitor to the like the dog park. Like, whoa. It's gonna play some fetch. Don't mind us. Yeah, definitely I I like um animals that wanna play. Or like be around people. So my my cats are like that where they like to play and cuddle and stuff. Although I don't think they're maybe as cool as a lizard, but I love them. I remember I went to visit my friend, um, I guess over a year ago now, but um, I went to visit her and she has like this little like terrier dog, like a Jack Russell terrier, um, and she's so sweet. I love her. But we we went to like a like a state park and we went like hiking, as if it wasn't really hiking, so it wasn't like, um, really, like, I don't know, it wasn't like a mountain or anything, but we like walked around, and it was really pretty, and we brought the dog with us, um, and so we like, we brought her there, and we were there for a couple hours, and then afterwards, we stopped by like the dog park that's right around there, and, um, at the do uh, dog park, we like threw her tennis ball for her. And then we go home, and she still, like, wants to play. Ooh. Um, a savannah monitor is like a dog. He'll be good as long as he socializes them, but a Nile is more of a wild lizard. Oh, okay. I see. That makes sense. Yeah, the difference between, like, I guess, technically, probably not tame, but... Yes, I see. So savannas are more close to tame, where you can socialize them. Kind of like kittens. Now they're a little more wild. That's interesting. I, I didn't know. Now I learned, I'm learning so much about monitor lizard breeds. Let's see. Should we do a quest for Mochi or Victor? Um, Mochi is kind of mean, but I do really like her design. 
But Victor has cool goggles. What do Victor do today? Alright, what is... Oh, he wants phosphor slimes and tabby slimes. Wow. Well, I don't want to give him my tabbies, but it is nighttime. So maybe I can just... Let's check out the grotto and see if maybe we can get any slime. I don't think so. No, no, no. Okay. Those are just cool. I never, I always thought of them as like, like the big ones I thought of as like dangerous. Like not really pets. But, I mean, if they are happy to, like if you socialize them, I imagine it's just like, yeah, just like any pet. Although my dad likes, I don't know what this is. Komodo dragons. And at the zoo, they have, like, a Komodo dragon. And he jokes about, like... Oh, okay, cool. He'll joke about, like, how he wants to, like, pet it and stuff. And, like, yeah, that, that's a bit dangerous. You don't want to get close. <laughs> the horde of pink slimes trying to escape at all times. Yeah, they really, they're like, like, stack up on each other. They're, like, World War Z it. I don't know why. I mean, this is such a nice pen. They've got... Dirt. Dirt. Sometimes I throw carrots in there. Wow, this is really pretty. I have my graphics kind of low. I might be able to put them up. Let's, let's splurge. Oh, wow. I like that. That's pretty. Yeah, I... <laughs> actually... I have, I have, the VOD's not up anymore, but I am going to edit it down into a video, um, at some point. But, um, let's see, tabbies and phosphorus. Yeah, and the, the first time I played, I, like, I made the mistake of putting, like, pink slimes in with tabby slimes, like, all in the same corral, and they, like, ate each other's plorts, and then they were, like, big, and they were, like, hopping out. And they would attack me, and then I was getting having that issue where you have like um the slimes I forget exactly why it happens, but like the slimes turn evil. They turn into like slimes with like the jack-o'-lantern mouths. And then they were attacking me and they were eating all my other slimes and they ate them all. And it was a a bad time. But you know. I started over, and I learned to separate them. <laughs> I mean, they're still dangerous, not something to treat like it is nothing, but not all kinds of lizards are that dangerous. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, like, you know, they're still not, like, like bunny rabbits. I feel like bunny rabbits are probably some of the, like, pets I would be least worried about, like, biting me or something. I don't know. But, yeah, I feel like, you know, that with most animals, too. I mean, there's... I mean, if you're... Don't train dogs properly. Dogs can bite and be dangerous. And, you know, you have bad experiences there. So it's all about, I think, just like, you know, knowing what you're getting into. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What? 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 Wait, why? What's on this head? I'm. Uh, do you want to come home with me? Wait. I'm so confused about what just happened. I don't know what just happened. Why did he have a magnet on his head? I don't know. This is above my pay grain. I just, I just collect the slimes. Yeah. I'm confused. Okay. We have enough phosphor slimes. We just need more tabbies. I suppose I could supplement tabbies from my own stock. But I I think eight and eight was right. I think that's it. Also, oh, are these like where they spawn from? I was always confused why there's like those like jets of stuff. But then I would like stand on them, but that's actually probably really gross. <laughs> All right, come here. Okay, this should be plenty of slimes for Victor. I'm gonna give you big coin, I think. Oh, I guess I guess I would have had to carry him back. I was confused about because I couldn't 
suck him up. Maybe I was full. Sometimes I don't pay attention to like, I'm like, why is this not working? And it's because I have no slots left. I'm sitting here petting a rabbit and confirm that they are kind. That's cool. You have, do you have like a lot of different pets? Rabbits always seem sweet to me. They're cute. I like their, like their floppy ears. I got, yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this is the right direction. Pretty sure. Actually, lately, I've I know, been really thinking about hamsters. I'm kind of wanting a hamster. Although, like, you know, at the moment, it's just, it's not the right time. Because, like, I, um... I'm in college, so a lot of the year, I'm like, not at home. I don't think I can have a hamster here. I think you can have like fish, but I don't know. I would have to see. I don't think hamsters are allowed. They're kind of picky about what you can have. Um, but I know they're also just really cute. And also like, um, I, I work in a lab and we um, have mice and because we have mice you're not allowed to have rodents at home which I guess is, a, is you know another big big barrier because like if you could bring like a rodent virus accidentally like to work with you and then if your mice get sick then you know that's a big problem but yeah I just been like <laughs> looking at pictures of hamsters and like hamster I think they're cute. Um, yeah. Okay, I think we're getting get ah come back here. Get the fruits. Then okay, so let's plan this out because I unlocked the grotto area. And the grotto area has places where I can keep my phosphor slimes. So I could transfer the phosphor slimes. And if I transfer them there, maybe I could move the pogo fruit, like, tree there. Because, um, the pogo fruits... Um, I'm gonna just gonna suck these out. I feel like I don't need to keep them here. Because the pogo fruits is what they eat. So I could just keep it all together. And then I would have like two actually open spots. Where I could put like a silo. Or excuse me. Or like other slimes. If I find more slimes. I guess. Hmm. So let's see if we'll be upgrading. So this is that. Well, I guess it'd be on this button, probably. Ah, additional storage. Mm -hmm. I think I'm good right now. Let's sell these. Let's see, I have three guinea pigs, two rabbits, one rat, six chickens, one lizard, one snake, seven dogs, five cats, one fish. Oh my gosh. You have like a whole petting zoo. <laughs> That's awesome, but well, I imagine we'll see chaotic at times i don't i think i think you take the cake albino i i don't think i've ever heard of anyone having that many or that like range of animals you really got like all the all the bases covered oh gosh it's really late all right let's go to bed wow you think yeah i guess like the only <laughs> Stuff would be like, I don't know, like hamsters. Can you even hamster? I fish. Yeah. Wow. Then that's cool. You have chickens though. Do you guys like collect the eggs? I feel like I've been hearing a lot recently about people wanting to have chickens and like, you know, collect their eggs and use them. I like that'd be nice because I especially um I like to bake a lot and so I'll 
end up like cooking and baking and I'll use like a bunch of eggs. So whenever I'm home, my mom will get like like a like a a dozen egg or like eggs or like eighteen eggs so that I can you know make all sorts of things. Oh it's a heart. There's always requests. I have like this list of requests of like my mom's like, oh I saw this recipe for this sort of cake and oh make more bread. Like all these sorts of things. Yeah we have so many eggs. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. I guess it's six chickens. They're busy. <laughs> um, I want to learn to bake so bad. But it's really fun. I just kind of taught myself how to do it. I do, though, watch a lot of cooking shows. But I would say, yeah, just go for it. Just kind of, like, how I do it is I just think of, like, something that I want to eat. And then I, like, look up a recipe. And then as long as it's not, like, incredibly complicated... I'm like, yeah, I can do that. Um, I'm like, I'm trying to think. Um, what have I booked recently? All right, let's make a, I'm going to go over to the grotto and make a corral for these phosphorus slimes. Mm, I haven't been home in a bit, but recently, let's see. I made donuts, but they didn't turn out super good. But, um, I thought that was good. There's this cake I make that my family's my family likes it's called the Victoria Sponge. It's like um a British recipe, so I had to like convert it into uh, measurements I understood. But um yeah it was good. It's like um a, a sponge, just like a regular like cake base that has buttercream and strawberry jam like in the middle. But then powdered sugar on top. So kind of tasty. The hen hen's bones crunching as you send it to its tabby grave. Yeah. The... The use of... One, two, three, I guess. Yeah. I know. When I, when I first played it, actually, I felt so bad about that. I, like... Oh, my gosh. There's a lot here. I... <laughs> I saw, like, the little baby chickens on the ground. And I was like, no, I can't do it. I would never feed these chickens to the tabbies and then i was like oh wait who eats it the the slimes that i really like the look of and let's just say i moved past my moral quandary awfully quickly <laughs> yeah i try not to think about it i wish they could all just eat carrots Oh, okay, that makes sense. So the animals are split between two homes. and be a bit less chaotic. It's much more efficient to make a Largo with them than feed them fruits or vegetables, but oh well. A Largo with the tabbies? Like, um, I think these are actually, um, yeah, rock tabby Largos. That, because these cats, these slimes, and these slimes don't stop jumping around, and they ended up becoming one. Yeah, it does seem more efficient because I, I was like, I just actually went out and grabbed some more chickens recently because I was like, uh, I'm running out of chickens. Um, are you a uh, a slime rancher expert, Yusuf? I'm, I'm very much a noob. <laughs> yeah, maybe we could make these big. I like the tabbies, like I like the look of them, but if we're going to move the phosphor slimes... Maybe I could leave some plain tabbies. I think I think they look cute. And I could move some others to a different pen. And I could like bring a pink or like a rock slime. And then, because maybe a pink would be nice. Because pink eat anything. So I could merge a pink with a tabby. And keep those in a pen. Then, yeah. Then I could give them like all these carrots that I have. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. First, though, let's take these phosphor slimes. All right, dissolve them. All right. So we're taking phosphor slimes, and then I need a fruit. So I want to grow 
fruit there. And I'll take a couple more just to feed them with. Alright. Um, can you guys hear the music? I feel like it's super quiet. I think I like just purposely made it quiet earlier, but... There we go. Felt a bit loud when I started, but... Getting used to it. Okay, I feel like we have a plan. We're expanding new areas. Got our phosphorus line. Alright. So got them growing. And then... Now we're growing more pogo fruits. <laughs> That's cool. That looks cool. Oh, you are... How... How come you already escaped? Excuse me. I think we might need to buy... <laughs> What is it, like an air net here? Yeah. And let's do high walls, just, just to be safe here. Ooh, actually, I got so spoiled actually having the um, auto plort collector, though. I'm going to have to remember to come in here. <laughs> awesome. All right, now we have two plots. That we can use. I can leave the garden thing for now, but I feel like I'd probably rather have slimes. Let's do that thing with the tabbies. Cause I was trying to think I was like, I don't think I've seen any other like types of slimes. But I can maybe suck up. Oh, you guys hungry? Don't worry. Once I merge you with a pink slime you're going to be able to eat carrots, and I have lots of carrots. <laughs> okay. So, I have the solar shield, which they don't really need anymore, but I don't think it matters to, like, take it off. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I already bought it. Uh -huh. So I have like, I think, I think, how many in here? Six? One, two, three, four, oh, five. So let's get some pink slimes. Alright, mix these up. Oh, and I need to feed them. Okay. And a couple chickens. So that they'll make floors. And then I need to go and run and grab carrots real quick. So that hopefully we'll get some ports from the um, pink slimes. And then if the tabbies eat the pink ones, they should merge. And look at that! We already have pink tabbies! Look at that! Alright. That was pretty easy. All right, let's see if they go eat those pink. Yeah, all right. Let's see, can we get another one? Nice. Awesome. All right. <laughs> cool, I might, let's see, can I put the top on here? I just don't think I have the money. Yeah, I do not have the money. Let's, I want to see what, um, let me check on ports that I have saved up. I can sell them, use the money to maybe do an auto port collector because I, the big ones seem to like attack a lot. Maybe it's just like, especially these rocky ones, but I feel like they're always attacking me. <laughs> and so it's hard to go in there and suck it up, but then I end up sucking up, um, like, how are you already out? Oh my gosh. Maybe I shouldn't have made a bunch of giant ones and put them together. Come on. In there. In, 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 in. You go in here. You go in here. You eat everything and you go in here. <sighs> okay. Take these plurts. Oh wait, I do already have an auto collector on here because I had the phosphor slimes in here. All right, let's see, pick these up. Wow, I can already tell this is gonna be 
lots of money. We should be able to do the um the net, the air net, which will be very nice. Keep them from jumping everywhere. Ooh, I think I have a new mission too. I probably do. I wasn't even paying attention. I was so busy merging my slimes. All right, let's put a net on here so they don't escape and cause havoc. And then, oh, you're totally right. I was not even paying attention. Ooh, Sora or Ogden? I think, oh, I kind of like the look of Sora. Grandmothery. Best part of the range? You hear all those cars and people? Yeah, I don't either. A oh, loner. Okay, so five tabbies, one tabby plort, three regular chickens. And then we'll get. What is that? Is that like strawberry juice? Money? Always good. Always good. Some strawberry stuff I haven't seen before, and stony hens. All right, let's, I will gather these lovely tabbies for you. All right, so five tabbies. <laughs> oh my gosh. I saw it like jump over my head and I was like, uh-uh, I'm not playing this game with you. You're going back in. I put a net, but I guess it, you know, it's not foolproof. <laughs> okay, <laughs> five tabbies, one tabby plort, and then three chickens. I can get the plort really quickly, actually, if I just feed one hen. Oop. Okay. If I just feed a hen to the tabbies, I'll get a plort really fast. Alright. There we go. Perfect. Alright, that's the plort down. I have enough tabbies, but I want to keep mine. So let's see, we have three regular chickens, five tabbies. Three regular chickens, five tabbies. No big deal. Easy peasy. So I was just, ooh. <laughs> it's so weird to see them just appear out of the ground. Let's see. Ooh. There was a rooster, but I think it ate it. <laughs> I had that problem last time I was playing too, where like, I was looking for a rooster because I needed roosters so my chickens could breed. And I was just looking like all over for a rooster, trying so hard. And I finally got one. And then a slime ate it right in front of my face. It was so sad. I, I, I was like, no. I tried to suck it up, but he was already gone. I got the hens. Um, no, I just need the tabbies. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here. All right. Ooh, hello. Just who I was looking for. And we're getting lots of hens too. So that's good. I can bring home um, these little chickies to grow up, or chickadoos. Um, look him. Ah! Don't attack me, please. All right. So I have enough tabbies. I have enough hens. Ooh. I'm taking this rooster with. <gasps> no! He ate it. He just ate it in front of me. Oh. <laughs> I'm taking this rock port. I can't believe he just ate it in front of my face. I don't even care about these cool looking fly- oh, okay, I kind of do. It's a chickeny, slimy chicken world. <laughs> Literally. Oh no, there's the scary ones. Run away, run away, run away, we are running away. Everything is scarier at night, but I still want these ports. Alright, alright, run away, run away. I feel like that's going to be my downfall. My greed. I just want one more hen, and all of a sudden I'm being killed by evil jack o turn slimes. <laughs> 
yeah. So what are you guys feeling? Um, I was, I could play a bit more Slime Rancher, but um, I've been doing this for a bit, so I was thinking about maybe switching over to Minecraft. Would you guys be interested in Minecraft, or do you prefer Slime Rancher? Alright. Drop off some tabbies. And that is. Woohoo! Okay, ooh, let's. Here. 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 Let's get these hens in here because I want to see what the heck. I want to know. Here, go ahead, go ahead. I want to know what those strawberry things are. Q-berries. Huh. That's cool. I honestly thought it looked like, um, like a strawberry, like, Capri Sun or something. That's so cool. I'm gonna throw- I'm putting these in my silo. They are cool. I want to hold on to these. Oops. Alright. And then pick this one up. That's cute. I like those. All the, like, I like like the the like textures and stuff I guess. The like just the look of the game is really nice. Alright, I guess if you have no preference, Albino, I guess uh, I am gonna switch to Minecraft. I'm just gonna I feel like that's a good stopping point. We got mission complete. Unlocked a new area for the phosphor slimes. Have these beautiful pain in the butt <laughs> pink tabby slimes now. And I'm for bed. Alright, let's go to sleep. Alright, I'm gonna save and then quit here. Um, and then here, I'll go to the screen. Let me just change my game capture. So, I wanna play on, I was playing the other day, um, I started the new um, 117 survival world because um, I played I played a little bit of 117 with my friends on the server, but um, I have actually not really explored a lot of the new stuff. Um, we played a bit, but then I got like sidetracked building a house and stuff. Um, it was kind of fun because I'm I really just love vanilla survival. Let me. Edit my game. Go into Minecraft. Um, let's see. Um, I never know what to title streams. When I get to like, when I edit videos, it's easy. I have plenty of time to think about it. But <laughs> streams is hard. Let's see. Well, what I kind of want to do is I want to get some cows and some sugar cane to get fortune. But probably in the meantime, I'll be maybe trying to build a base. Um, okay, so Minecraft. Okay, I think that's all set. Now change my capture to Minecraft once I get this open. Why is it asking me to put my password in? I just make mine basic so I don't have to change them per game. That makes sense. That's smart. So you don't have to think of two different titles. <laughs> Do you stream, Albina? Maybe I have to sign into my Minecraft. I never have to do this, but when I'm streaming, <laughs> it's going to make me do this. <laughs> Um, I don't actually know if I know my thing for this. Ah! <laughs> okay, one second. Here, maybe I can put some music on so this is less incredibly awkward. Um, oh, here it is. <sighs> okay, <laughs> my bad, guys. Let's put this in. Here we go. 
All right, now we're loading 117. Haven't in a while, but I do occasionally. That's cool. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty new to it, <laughs> as you can probably tell. But yeah, it's fun. I don't, I mean, I've been kind of vaguely weekly, I guess, for a bit. Not perfect, but it's fun. I've, um, another one of my friend streams, he's a dude who I've, um, made fun of for leaving his, like, starting soon screen on, but, you know, let's all just keep it quiet. We're not going to tell him. Yeah, it's fun. I, I, I will say I kind of like, um, the video editing part better than the streaming part sometimes. I find it really satisfying, but... Definitely, it's fun to stream too. It just feels chill. I'm gonna pull up some music. Um. Find the perfect song for your video and five. Stop! <laughs> I hate how like you guys can hear all the ads even if you can't see the screen. I just wanna, I just want to um. I just want to play music. Here we go. All right, we're in business. I hope the sound is okay. No, you might tell him. <laughs> well, don't do that. I clearly said, please don't tell. <laughs> He's twitched at TV slash Kronos comp. If you want to betray me. <laughs> All right, here we go. That looks right to me. Okay. Ooh, that's a bit loud. That is actually a bit loud. <laughs> okay. I love this song though. I, it's so nice that you can use the lo-fi record music because it's just so pretty. but it was quite a way to meet you through um stream let me put the music down here so it doesn't interfere um does this look okay can't tell oh. hold on yeah i want this on top Okay, I think this works. Yes. Was indeed. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to remember what I was up to last time. I think based on where I am. Let me put this down a bit more. Okay. So I was clearly mining. Okay, yeah, I, I remember now. I think I ended up here. I came up upon this cave. All right. Oh, I do have an iron pickaxe. Okay, I couldn't remember where I was at exactly. Well, let's get the XP. Why not? I feel like after like mining redstone twice it's like enough to last me the rest of the game but i like the xp <laughs> Ooh, i do not oh no 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 creeper hurts <sighs> oh i don't have a bow i'm just gonna <gasps> oh no I thought I had a shield! Oh my god. <laughs> I, I'm so used to having a shield. I... <laughs> god damn it. I really thought I had a shield. <sighs> okay, let's go back down. <sighs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Yeah, redstone's hard, so you just don't use it. Yeah, I I do not understand redstone at all. 
but I'm super good at following directions. I can just follow along with a video super well. So I've done that to make like chest sorter. I've done um, an Enderman farm before. That was super cool. But yeah, I just I just follow along. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. I was like, oh, I'll be fine. I can just like block the blast with my shield. Then he won't bother me anymore. And then instantly, instantly died. Because I don't have a shield and I don't even have like good armor. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Reset. That never happened. It never even happened. I don't even know what you're talking about. Alright. We sort. I have like a specific order I'm used to having things in. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's grab this iron so that we can make a shield. <laughs> and then I'm gonna head back up to the surface and I'll show you guys my beautiful starter base. Um, the cube house. Yeah, but yeah, I'm a pro Minecraft player. I don't know um, if you guys knew, but yeah, I'm a pro. Alright. Yeah, definitely, I love just survival. I'm not the best player in the world, but I have a good time. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set- I think I had this block because there was mobs around. I really like parkour too, actually. Um, a lot of times I'll just play parkour on the server and chill. That was my first stream. So actually, I do have that edited on my YouTube channel. Um, I have two videos out on my YouTube channel, and I have some old VODs I just up uploaded. But, um... Yeah. That's some parkour. But it's kind of funny. Even between, like, my first YouTube video and my second one, I feel like I, I got exponentially better at editing. <laughs> I was to say, I love them making raw iron a thing. Yeah, at first, I was, honestly, I was like, what the heck is that? Because to me, it looks like the cooked rabbit texture. Like, it it looks exactly like that to me. I don't have any rabbit to compare, but... Yeah, what I do like is that apparently that means fortune works now. Which is nice. But I just got so used to, um the like ore block that when it dropped a raw iron on me i was like what the heck that's nice i definitely love being able to get extra iron okay first order of business <laughs> um a shield a bit important perhaps and then i think it's time to make some real armor some pants. Do a helmet. Oh. <laughs> I'm a pro. Um, I just have two helmets because two heads are better than one. It does, which is why I love it. Yeah, definitely agree. Like, is the, the texture is a bit weird to me at first, but, you know, I can always use iron. Especially when I need two, hel two helmets. I probably should make an iron chest plate, but I kind of like the gold because it just looks nice enchanted. But um, yeah, and um, we play also um an origin server, which is that mod where you start like with different buffs and debuffs based on like a certain mob, which is fun. But um, on there, since I play an Elytrian, I can't wear anything like higher than gold armor, so I got. Very used to wearing it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I need to cook this, but the iron isn't done yet. Let's see. Maybe I should probably start a farm. I have all these seeds, after all. I think I got all this from a village. Okay. So anyway, this is the cube house. This is my beautiful starter base. We call it um, Home Sweet Cube House. We have, um, we didn't have any glass, so I decided to go with fences so I could tell if it was daytime or not, but not be attacked by mobs. Um, and we're in this beautiful plains biome. And the reason I actually set up shop here, it's pretty close to where I spawned, but I set up here because we are right by a village, which is super convenient um, if I figure out how to do villager stuff. I've never done it by myself before, but you know, 
first time for everything. Oh my gosh, they have cows. I didn't, I totally forgot about that. They have cows and wheat. Oh my gosh, it's so nice being next to a village. I feel so spoiled. Okay, let's breed these cows. I think, yeah, I think that's the move. Breed them. And then go make a place to keep them. At my cube house, maybe a nice cube. Nice cube fence, perhaps. I'm gonna grab this too. I want the wheat, the hay bales. Mm -hmm. I'm not totally sure if I want to build where my cube house is, or I typically like to look for like really pretty landscape stuff, like cliffs or like, I don't know, hills or, I like being high up. Just like uh, somewhere distinct, like if there's waterfalls, I love how that looks, like little coves. But this is nice for now. And maybe I can like, I was thinking about maybe staying here, or maybe it might look nice to do like a treehouse kind of thing. Ooh, there's some chickens here. Hmm. Let's get some sweet seeds real quick. Okay. I, I forgot I already had some seeds. So yeah, so I'm, I might end up using this area because it is pretty nice, but I'm just not sure yet. I like bodies of water and stuff. Let's try to find a, like a pretty area. Alright. So I'm just going to do some really basic kind of um, farm here. Some carrots down. Some beetroot seeds, of course, of course. Oh, hey, chicken. Hey, you. I'm just gonna keep them in my house for now, I think. Cause I need to quickly make an area to like actually put my chickens. Yeah, come here. Good chicken. So actually, yeah, I need like an area to keep them. I think first, I need water too. Here. I, I get sidetracked so easily. Okay, let me see if they have any water I can snatch. And then I'm gonna finish farming my seeds and then I'm gonna build little pens for the cows and the chickens. And then, I will be ready to put the cows and the chickens actually in there and then um, I mean once I have the cows that's like a third of my goals I love that I heard that they added in 117 that you could make path out of not only grass blocks but also dirt blocks and honestly, it's those little quality of life adjustments that made me the most excited for 117. Although, I mean, I am... Um, I was pumped for like the new blocks and stuff, but like, definitely, perhaps... Oops, I can't let them out. I can't let them out. Maybe a tiny bit more excited about, um, you know, those basic kind of things. All right, let's make an infinite water source real quick because there's not really like a lake or anything around here. So this is gonna be super important. And I've already stolen a bunch of the villagers water, so. Perfect. All right. So. Just gonna go around here. Okay, my potatoes. I didn't actually really need all of these different crops. It just like feels nice having them, you know? Do you guys usually play Minecraft? It's one of my favorite games. 
I just feel like there's always something I enjoy doing in it. Like, you know, sometimes I'm into doing much parkour. I always come back to survival. Or sometimes I'll play games on like Hypixel. Okay. We pulled the fast one on him. Um, so no. So I need more wood. I really need more wood. Alright, let's put this away. Get my steak cooking. I feel like the music is loud. Just let me know if it's too loud, guys. I could be wrong, but I don't know. It sounds loud to me. Okay. Let's eat some bread. Yeah, so I need more wood. But first, let me see. I can probably make enough fences, I feel like. I have... I have a good amount of oak. Okay. I don't need too much for them. Ooh, that's fence gate. Are you pushed? It's... <laughs> I'm pretty sure Um, I'm being pushed by... Excuse me, by a chicken right now. This never happened to me before. <laughs> um, I feel like that might be good. Let's see. Alright, so I guess where we're at now is I'm making a little cow pen and a chicken pen. So I'm gonna do that over here, I think. Um, so cow pen, chicken pen. Then also I need sugar cane. I'd like to be able to just like set up. Oops. Oh, I don't I don't have an axe. I wanna be able to set up just like sugar cane, let it grow while I work on other stuff, like um building my base. Oops. No 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 no. Please don't, please don't, please don't ruin my crops. Please don't ruin my crops. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> Alright, anyway though, I need an axe. This chicken's pushing me around. Maybe we should keep him as a pet. Alright. Ooh, it's getting to be nighttime. What's. <sighs> okay, I'm. I wasn't completely spared, but, you know, not bad. Okay, let's see. I have much lower FPS than I'm, like, used to because I'm streaming. It's not too bad, but definitely the lag gets me sometimes. Alright, now I have an X. I think 116 might have been like my favorite update ever, but I really like 170 too. It's giving it a run for its money here. It's just like really fun. I don't know. Like I just really like a lot of these things. Really, a lot of like small stuff, but it's just really nice being able to like. like ooh, now you add some more blocks that I can build with. Though, I mean, I guess I feel like you can never really beat the nether update. That was pretty cool. But still, I enjoy it. Yeah, lag well, can be annoying. It's not too terrible, but definitely when I, um, when I play off stream and I have like 40 frames per second, it's like, ah, much better. <laughs> So I need more wood, because I don't have enough wood to make um, enough fences. So I'll just go out and get some more oak. Oak is a really nice wood. I think I'm, I'm partial to spruce, but you can't go wrong with a nice oak wood. I have to figure out, I feel like, you know, where I end up building really is going to influence... Ooh, 
a chicken. Like, how I build my house. Like, I've built a castle in another world. Although I followed along. I had some assistance with that from a video. Um, I've built a treehouse before. I've, when I first started out playing Minecraft, I built a lot of cubes. <laughs> they were bigger cubes. And then they became like rectangular prisms with two floors, but they were not very excited. And then I'm actually building right now on our origin server, a boat. Yep, come here chickens. Ooh, I just got an egg. Um, just like a big ship that I'm living on. I might stream origin sometime. I'm, I'm not sure when I'm gonna stream next, but um, I might stream Origins, because that's, it's fun, and I, I haven't streamed it in a while, so there's been a lot of changes. Or 117 too, I haven't streamed our 117 server. I've been busy playing Slime Ranger in single player. I want to chop this tree down, but it's like so big, I feel like. It's cool, and also, it's going to be difficult, but you know, I'm up to the task. Right. This is a tall tree. Alright. I'll replant. That would be super nice to have, like, a tree farm. If I can, through adventuring, if I can find like all the different types of wood and just have them like, like all a cart, all like spread out where I can just be like, hmm, I think I want some dark oak for what I'm working on. Hmm, some jungle today. Sounds like the life. <laughs> Although I typically mostly just end up using like spruce and dark oak. No. It's about the aesthetic. Is that just like having the option? I don't know. Ooh, apples. Actually though, that's a nice thing that oak has over spruce. Oak of any variety is the apples. So I have I don't have too much gold so far because I haven't done a ton of mining. But you know. Especially now that fortune works on gold. I think we'll be in business. <sighs> Hold on, I'll mute that. <laughs> yeah. Apples are nice. We'll make lots of gaps. That'll be useful when we go kill the dragon. And some green tea. to reach. Alright, a couple saplings. I'll replant these. Let's get this tree. Now I'll glow high. It's just so nice and chill. When I'm studying, I have like a playlist I've been just like putting together over time of just like lo-fi songs I like so I can focus. Ooh, sheep. What's that sheep? You want me to make a pen for you? I suppose that, that could be arranged. I am getting lots of wood. the slot open to see if any saplings fall. Ooh. I thought I heard like a mob. I think we're okay though. Dark oak forests can be really scary with mobs because all the shade. Like I'm like I don't usually expect a skeleton during the day, but they're like it feels like they're lying in wait. Alright. 
think that's enough oak for now. All right, let's go back to the cube and make some more fences. Ah! This is why the lag is annoying. All right, where did I come from? Over here. I do love planes though, just because of all the like food. Remember, um, one time my friends and I started a server and we spawned in a mesa, which was just so, it was such a struggle <laughs> to like get enough food. So we ended up moving to, I think it was like a, it was like a spruce forest, but it was right next to like a plains. Hey, Hadger. That's besides the point. Dark oak forests are pretty though. Love the mushrooms. They are really pretty. They're really cool. I, I feel like that'd be a really nice place to build like a house like on top of the trees, you know? Like a tree house like on top of all those leaves. Because yeah, the mushrooms are nice, like all the, all the colors. But yeah, I just, I, you have to light it up. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want the crafting menu. I want to put some stuff away. How are you doing? That's besides the point. My awesome mod. <laughs> I'm just working on getting some animals together. So you can see I have some chickens. Um, they're currently living in my house rent free. Um, but I was getting more wood because I did not have enough wood to actually make some fences so that I can, uh, there's cows at the village that I'm going to like go take, but then I didn't have anywhere to put them. So I left them there and then there's lots of sheep around and also I've seen lots of chickens and I even like just, I grabbed some. Oh, you are, you are sneaky. When you grow up, I'm gonna eat you. All right, I'll have to make a couple, um, fence gates too. But this is good for now. Let's see, how many fences did I put across here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. These don't have to be the same, but I don't know. I feel like it's nice if they are. So I like that I'm able to like symmetrically put um, the gates in. If, let's see, how will I do the airlock? I'll have a gate here. Maybe I can do it like that. Gate, gate. Ooh, I don't like this placement though. That's gonna run right up against my house. Mushrooms are my favorite treat in Minecraft. Ooh. They, they are really nice, I will say. I actually, I, I realized recently, I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but that you could just like get them with silk touch. I feel like they're a nice decorative block. But, um, I would love to live on a mushroom island because it like really looks cool. And then you have um, no mobs to worry about, which would be super nice. And I kind of like the mycelium, like the purple. Especially because like then whatever you build is really going to stand out against it. All right, I think I need to fill some of this in because it's bothering me. I need a flat surface to do my building on. All right, let's get a bit more dirt. Maybe if we can find a dark oak forest, I could incorporate mushrooms into my eventual base. Oh, there's water right here. <laughs> I was like going to the village for water when there was water right behind my house <laughs> this whole time. I just didn't see it. <laughs> I see the block house, my beloved, is still around. Yep, the, the trusty cube. <laughs> yep, got the, the cube going on. <laughs> I want to build another base, but like I haven't decided where exactly yet. Oh, wait a second. There's a mountain there. 
It might look nice to like build into the mountain. That might be cool. Thoughts? Because <laughs> I don't want to be too far from the village, which is over here. Because the village is really like handy to have nearby. I can even just like make a trading hall there. Not to move the villagers super far, but also like I'm just not inspired by the plains, you know? But yeah, so for now, the cube house, nice square block house is, does what we need. I'm going to sleep though, so that the villagers don't get tormented by zombies wielding shovels. <laughs> oh, he came inside for bedtime. Good chicken, good chicken. Oh, yikes. For a second I thought that zombie was like, in my house. <laughs> Let's do this. I have a shield now. Oh. <laughs> he was just so scared to fight me. He knew that I was unstoppable with my shield. All right. Let me place the beetroots. It's kind of fun because I put like a bunch of different seeds in here. So like when they grow, you never know what you're going to get. Actually, no, I don't like that. Is that back? Let's see. I think I'll put another one here. Let me see how big I made it so I can replace. And this time you won't die when you fight a creeper. I know. It was so embarrassing, Hadger. I so I spawn into this world, and I'm like in my mind because that's where I like left off last time. Uh, thinking about getting like fortune and then I there's like a creeper nearby so I was like oh okay well I have a shield right because I always have a shield and uh, all these servers I'm used to having a shield and so I'll be fine I can just you know block the blast and then it won't bother me anymore and I can just go about my business exploring this cave and it explodes and just insta kills me that was the first thing that happened in this world was I died and then I went back and I got my stuff and I made a shield. <laughs> and we're focusing on animals. The chill farming lifestyle. All right, is that the same? Is that what I did before? I think so. Yeah, that's cute. I kind of like that. All right, did I need to do one more for my sheep? I think I'm gonna mine some of the dirt back because I kind of like it like over here but with the dirt it just makes it so close to my house it's like awkward who also yeah, I've kind of made my bed now but it is probably gonna be loud I'll have to turn my friendly mob sounds down I have to remember the stupid ads yeah, so definitely I feel like the mob sounds are going to be annoying, but I'll just put like friendly mobs down low because I've had that issue before when I put the like sheep and stuff super close to my house. It's just like all you can hear. The mob sucks so much you end up going Stardew Valley mode. <laughs> yeah, when you get knocked unconscious. I love to play more Stardew Valley, but I think we'll, we'll have to just um get people to do it. Um, I bet Astrid would play, and Joe would probably play, but then I bet you would play too. I love Stardew Valley. But, um, maybe that's for another day. Yeah, man, the Skull Caverns though are no joke. I don't know if you got that far, Hadger, but Whew. In Stardew Valley, there's like the original mine, which is like, it's hard, but you, you like advance and you can unlock more like um, better swords and things as you go along. And so like when you have better swords, it makes it easier because um, you do like more damage per hit. But um, 
then you go to the school caverns and it's just a, t a whole it's a whole nother level like all the mobs are so much harder that you have to go on like a good luck day <laughs> thank you yeah I'm a, I'm a stardew valley pro i'll just say i have a lot of hours in that game <laughs> how is stardew valley i've never played i love it personally <laughs> it's a really chill game um and I, I, what i like about it is that there's like so much you can do like like on any given day like you have like overarching objectives because i feel like i need that to like know what i'm doing but like you can focus on mining or fishing or um you can focus on farming a lot and like setting your farm up um so i think it's kind of nice and it's like it's the farming part but also it's like partially this like dating sim because you get to like befriend the townspeople and some of them are like eligible bachelors so um and bachelorettes so you can actually like um give them gifts and stuff and talk to them and level up hearts and then you can marry them if you level them up enough so actually i do have a wife um actually i can show you my my world if you want <laughs> here let's pause this for a second let me switch I'll be right back. We can go back to Minecraft, but <laughs> yeah. I'll show off my world a little bit. <laughs> Getting a spouse. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Yeah, you get like, um, you do get like to level up your energy, which is super nice. And sometimes they like give you things in the morning. So it's, it's just nice. The, the heart events are super fun. Even if you're not, like, romancing the person, I just, like, it's just kind of nice, like, I don't know. It's like, oh, we're being friends. <laughs> Social interaction. Alright. Save that. Okay. To me. Why are we talking about fried chicken? <laughs> are you having fried chicken? Alright, this is loud. Let me load up. So you can see I have lots of <laughs> lots of different farms. I play with different people. But this is my farm that I play by myself a lot. Are you having fried chicken for dinner? I actually haven't eaten dinner yet because I ate like a late lunch. Yeah, anyway, so this is me. Um, and then this is my house. I've expanded it a couple times. And this is all like stuff I've gotten from like bringing stuff to the museum. But these are like jelly jars. These are furnaces. This is my wife, Leah. Apparently she's going for a nature walk. Um, I usually like to check Okay, so the, the luck is neutral, but yeah, I forget exactly where I left off, but oh wait, I think I was trying to make bombs <laughs> uh, in a video game, in a video game, literally in a video game, because um, they're really helpful in the mines. Ooh, I'm running out of space. <laughs> okay, but yeah, so you can give gifts, like I'm going to give... Leah, a flower. Everyone likes flowers. Um, but it's winter, so I don't have, like, any crops. All these sprinklers are from crops. So I can check my mail. Well, that's nice. So this is the mayor sent me some money. Hello. I'm good. On, I'm pretty good on money now. I'm, like, trying to think of things to, like, like buy. But, um, in the beginning, definitely, I feel like it's back-to-back. Oh, here, let me grab more starfruit to put in there and we can collect the wine. I'll just play like a day of this and we can go back to Minecraft for a bit. Um, okay. So yeah, so I have all these like fruits. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. I upgraded my house recently. I think it was the biggest upgrade. <gasps> I totally forgot. I totally forgot I was getting these. 
So, <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely, I'm a Stardew Valley pro and also a Stardew Valley nerd. Where I just, I know, I know too much about the game mechanics. And it's just honestly from playing a lot and from playing with people who, like, already knew a lot about the game and just absorbing it. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so I, I upgraded my house. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Hedger. I should change my category if I'm going to play this for a bit. The third game I'm playing today. <laughs> so I played Slime Rancher, and then some Minecraft, and now... Here we are. Yes. Thank you. Um, okay, back here. I've actually never done this before. But you can age like wine and cheese and make it like better and get more money, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe I accidentally skipped them. But yeah, so I guess it just goes. I think it takes a while, but that's okay. I'm not really hurting for money right now. Let me grab some food though. I'll grab some cheese. It's kind of weird to eat cheese all the time, but <laughs> it's very convenient. It's high energy type of food. High health. Although I'm lactose intolerant. So I'm like living vicariously through this game, just eating tons of cheese, <laughs> not suffering the consequences. This is actually my greenhouse, which is something I unlocked as part of um, the like main quest. Um, and so I do starfruit in here because they're like uh, make a lot of money, and the greenhouse you can grow stuff in year round. Oh, I also am growing an ancient fruit, even when it's winter, because like crops don't grow outside, but you can grow crops inside. Those are actually my like planter pots that are in my house too. Are just like it's a way to grow plants inside. I think Evelyn, who Evelyn's one of the townspeople, she's super nice. She's like a grandma lady. She, I'm pretty sure she gave me one, but then I made another one. What's nerd cheese? And that's, I'll take your word for it that nerd cheese is great. I'm a, I'm a cheddar fan myself. Throw this in here. I used to just sell everything immediately, but now I have so much money, I kind of like hoard stuff. Mm. Let's see. Took care of that. Oh, I need my seeds. Oh, hi Liz. Thanks for following Rainbow Liz 11. <laughs> oh my god, this is so annoying. I, I'm probably going to repeat myself because I have these ads going on underneath. I guess this is why people get YouTube Premium. It's going to be weird editing it like that. Thanks Rainbow Liz 11 for the follow. Okay, back. <gasps> Ooh. Got a new chick. Hi, Liz. Okay. So, we have a new chick. It's a void chicken. Does anyone have a good name? Um, let's see. Mod Rainbow Liz. Is that how you do it? Is it Slash Mod? I always forget. There we go, it's Slash. <laughs> Liz is someone I know. <laughs> Your reference. Nerd. Nerd cheese for the, for the chicken? <laughs> I mean, as good a name as any. It shall be named Nerd Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd cheese seems curious, but a little cautious. It's a strange new world. <laughs> That's quite the name to live up to. Yeah, I have ducks. 
William and Harold and Ronald and Briar. Nerdy. <laughs> Windsor. You know, all the ducks. I actually have more rabbits. All my rabbits are named after pastries. Oh, yeah. Are you guys in VC? <laughs> I'll join VC. Give me one sec. I'm gonna take the music, I think, and put it into rhythm. Alright. Um, ooh, people have been talking and I have not been reading it. Hey! Hello! Hey. I liked your vibes. Thank you. I think I'm gonna, th if we're in VC, I'm throwing um, the music into rhythm so it stops um, playing ads over me talking. <laughs> Cause it's just like regular <laughs> YouTube. Yeah, nice. I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, we got Albino too has been in chat, hanging out with me. Uh, played some Stardew Valley. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. I played some Slime Rancher and some Minecraft before that. Nice. And there's yeah. also um, Commander Root. Commander Root? Yeah. I don't know oh. who he is. Oh, in my chat? Well, yeah. hi, Commander Root. Feel free to say hi if you're in chat and I don't uh, don't know you. <laughs> or even if I do know you. Yeah, I was just showing off my my farm. This is he's, my Lo-Fi Beats farm. He's uh, verified. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, this has been you. really fun. We've been talking about lizards, about games, all sorts of fun things. Because <laughs> <laughs> Albina too has a Nile monitor lizard. Super sick. We, we looked up pictures of it on Google. <laughs> I have so, how do I have so many eggs? I usually like do it every day. I must have forgotten. There are some uh, lizards that can get uh, really, really uh, big, especially on <laughs> islands. There's a thing called um, insular gigantism, where um, uh, uh, creatures that are small will become bigger on islands to like fill like other niches, and that's how like you get like kakapos. Have you ever heard of a kakapo? No, what's a kakapo? It's like a, a flightless parrot. But it's like big. Oh, like how big? We're talking like emu or talking like. Not emu. Like chicken? I'm gonna see. 24 inches tall, two feet tall. Two feet? That's yeah. a big parrot. <laughs> yeah. That's a really big parrot, actually. That's cool. I guess it makes sense if you have like. Mm less predators and more resources because you're on an island and you're kind of separate i can see yeah. i can see myself getting really big it's like it's like about as big as someone's head oh my gosh <laughs> thanks for the update hadger yeah i think i'm a bit quiet i don't know how to make myself louder I'm, when i was editing one of my streams earlier i realized i was kind of quiet but maybe i just need to talk louder and i put joe down e too tall. Giant Ooh, extinct cool. species of one meter tall t parrot discovered in New Zealand. Two meters? Wait, six foot tall parrots? No, one meter. One meter. Three foot tall parrots? <laughs> Pericles parrots. Pericles! <laughs> <laughs> Last we night, so the parrot was big. Have you seen Disney's Hercules? So here's a here's a picture of a five foot nine man next to various flightless bird species. All right, oh, Vinyl, thanks for hanging out. It's been fun, but have a nice night. What are you saying Heracles, about flightless bird species? There's a um. So I posted a picture in chat of a five foot nine man next to um, Heracles inex. Inexpectatus. Who He's is the size of a dodo? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
That's impressive. And there's the kakapo, which is one foot nine inches. Oh, I like how this, this guy looks, he, his legs are so short. What is, what happened to him? He was born <laughs> like that. Don't be rude. He's just yeah. built differently. <laughs> I'm built differently. I'm built differently. I'm built differently. Yeah, birds are wild. I always forget the like, um, that they used to be dinosaurs, you know? Yeah. Let's see, I want to move my rabbit. I'm moving rabbits so that when my egg hatches, I have like room for it. And I can keep all of my like, um, egg laying animals together. Wow, that is a lot of farm space. I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been hard at work. I actually jealous. realized I I have the um, upgrade now. The house upgrade. I have all the caskets. Not caskets, casks. I have a basin <laughs> full of caskets. <laughs> no, that's not true. It's casks. I threw some wine in there because I had um, wine. The casket of Amontillado. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually more accurate of a name. Uh, you guys, if you get on the server, might notice something new. What's new? I'm on the server, but I'm not paying attention. The beacon. There's, There's a, a beacon? beacon? Which server yes. is this? 117. Oh my gosh. What did you guys do without me? <laughs> we thought that we thought that it would be a bad idea to kill the ender dragon while you guys were gone. So I'd be like, mad. Yes, so we decided to kill the wither. Oh, okay. I'm okay with that. I wouldn't have helped anyway, so. Yeah. That's cool. And we can kill the wither as many times as we want, so it's not that big a deal. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I guess if I'm going to switch to 117, I've been streaming for a couple hours, so I might end stream here and come play Minecraft. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. All right, I, I might just deafen and end stream. <laughs> right. All right, well, thank you for everyone who came and hung out today. This is a lot of fun. I played three different games <laughs> in two hours. Yeah, this is great. I'm glad I streamed today. Um, everyone have a great night, and I will see you around. Bye. <laughs>